So, I've been looking for some bigger wheels for my pit bike recently. And a friend of mine said for £25 he'd give me this 17 inch front wheel, this 14 inch back, but this it, the rim's completely buggered. Uh, it's got a Michelin tyre on it. And this brand new rear 14 inch tyre. And this quite good condition front 12 inch wheel and tyre for a pit bike. So, £25, I think I did. But, as you can see, this rim here is completely knackered. I mean, that just horrible. And respoking things is not my favourite task. That's why I've never done them. So, I thought I'd go to the miniature part shop in Cainsham. So, I got these monster Synergy Diamond MX grips and they were £4 reduced and this is the 14 inch new rear rim that I got that was £30 and if any of you have been watching my videos you'll know that I've had a bit of a problem with the carburetor and it's um, when I snap back the throttle the engine cuts out and the bloke at the shop said that the three stage carb was the wrong one for my bike. He said something along the lines of it was too big or something like that. And he said for 25 pounds, this would sort the problem out straight away. You just bolt it on, I don't need to do anything else. And it's a Makuni carb. I think it's 22 mil, I'm not too sure. And yeah, basically he said that's gonna solve the problem. So. I recommend those guys, Miniature Parts, um, you can find them at miniatureparts.co.uk And so, I'm going to have a go at now trying to put this wheel on this rim. I have no idea why there's that and there's that one. Um, it's sort of cut off there, it's like a bolt. Any of you guys got any ideas, let me know in the comments section below. So I phoned a few places to get a new inner tube for the rear tyre which is a 90114 says it on there somewhere there oh sorry uh, there um, and no one's got one in stock so I'd have to get one offline and that's why because the tyre valve uh, ripped out there so I'm going to take the inner tube from here which is a well it's a 14 inch so let's just see what happens this is probably either a good idea or a very bad idea the room a bit but
now I've got the disc and the sprocket on, it's time to put it all together. I've got the spacers, so that's the one that goes on the sprocket side. And I've greased up the bearings and stuff inside the wheel, so wish me luck. So after struggling for ages to try and put the wheel on, I realised that the spacers are too big by exactly that much where the line is because on the other wheel, um, I'll show you, because on the other wheel there's these recesses that the uh, spacer sits in and obviously there aren't those on the new ones so I'll have to cut the spacers down to size. Just so you can see, that's the new one with no recess. And that's the old one with the recess. So the battery died on my GoPro, I decided to fit the wheel anyway, and the spacers fitted perfectly. There they go. Oh, it's really nice. 